Have you ever heard the song and thanked God for creating music? Have you ever heard an orchestra at a chapel or the melody and fusion of flutes and guitars spiced with the harp and thanked God for stringed instruments and the inspiration to play them? I'm sure you must agree to the beauty of music without words, in all forms, the beauty of your spirit rising to meet God in worship. It's a rapturous experience. Music generally is a powerful tool for molding and building. It's quite mathematical and calculative, capable of adding and subtracting from a life. It is very much able to mold your body into doing its biddings, whether nodding or tapping your foot along or dancing vigorously to its tune. It can easily penetrate your heart and soul, even without your permission, hold it by its own and sit on its throne in control. It can bring in a certain sense of well-being and ease, like soft rain eroding the heat of weariness. It can impart favor and grace into your soul, or lust for things unholy and unknown, depending on its source. Tenters through the gate of your spirit, filling it with the consciousness of God's presence. Now, the opposite of music, I believe, is noise. For music is that which flows from God's throne and the devil, in a bid 